Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with a general oracle card reading, your weekly oracle card reading. So if you have any given question or if you have any concern or if you're just wondering what you can expect in the week ahead or what potential challenges you have in the week ahead that you will need to be to overcome, uh, this is the reading for you. Of course, you may access this at any time of the year or any, any time at all. And if you've chosen it and if it feels like it resonates with you, um, or you feel it drawn to it, then it should actually resonate with you. All right, so we have deck one, uh, deck two, and deck three. Uh, this is the Isis Oracle by uh, Alana Fairchild. This is the Soul um, Woman Oracle, and this is the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Alana Fairchild as well. Go ahead, um, make a selection, either one, two, or three, and you will, if you'll find the the timestamp in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck, which is the Isis Oracle, we are asking, what is it that we need to know at this time? Okay, we have this card here, and the title is The Brother in Darkness, Overcoming Negative Energy with Feminine Power. Well, the overriding energy I'm getting from this card is that that which is the masculine, or that which is the, the energy that is as it, as it stands right now, can in, have good intentions, and it can actually um, be wanting the best, or be working towards that which is believed to be the best, but it doesn't necessarily have good consequences for all concerned. And this needs to be balanced or to be, um, the feminine energy needs to be weighed in on that as stated by the card here. But the feminine energy that needs to be weighed in here is a very powerful energy. And in order to weigh in with this feminine energy or this feminine power, one needs to actually be in touch with their power within themselves, their feminine power, and that applies to both men and women. So what is the feminine power in you and how can that be developed and understood? Vulnerability is not necessarily a feminine power or femininity. Being weak is not femininity necessarily or, or something to do with fe feminine power although in the past that might be that may have been associated with it with it but it isn't the case we're talking about a very deep rooted power and knowingness um, and a feeling of being connected to the earth when we're talking about feminine power we're talking about this all-knowing power that is able to encompass the masculine energy as well as able to complement the masculine power in its entirety, okay? And this is not to diminish the masculine power in any way, but simply to balance out that uh, which is potentially negative. So what I mean by that is that with the masculine power, um, there can be a tendency to take things to another level of aggression or of... Um, a kind of absolute um, totalitarianism. It's a kind of absoluteness to this energy. And the feminine energy needs to come in and weigh in on that in the sense that it balances that out. It actually comes in and it says, okay, well, we the, fem the masculine power is really valid and is really necessary, but here there's a moment in which we need to stop with that and we can't just have the masculine power. We also need the feminine power to come in and bring this balance that we so deeply need. So how does this apply to you on a daily, on your daily life? So the way in which I would read this for uh, a person who's, you know, has particular concern, I would say that whatever it is that you're dealing with, now is the moment in which you actually just hold back and you observe. Observe and take a wise look at it, as in 
uh, process the information that you're getting about what you observe with wisdom. And it's not the time to rush into things. It's not the time to forge ahead blindly uh, with all kinds of power. That is not power, you know. That is not real strength. Real strength is not just masculine power. In fact, masculine power is, because of its negative consequence that it can actually have, in, is in fact much weaker than the real strength and the real power of a balanced masculine and feminine energy. So if there's something that you feel that you need to push really hard against, or you need to fight your way through, or you need to really just rush your way through it, or you're becoming impatient about something, then now is the time to actually take a deep breath, center yourself, refocus, and think, how can I look at this differently? How can I... I uh, approach this with, an, with the feminine power and the feminine power in this case refers specifically to you holding back, to you observing, to you striking when it's absolutely necessary or not at all and to actually adding a whole great deal of compassion and empathy into whatever it is that you're doing. So if you are dealing with other people then trying to see it from their perspective and trying to understand their strategy in what it is that you're busy with or working towards. Um, try to see the whole perspective of it, not just the individual perspective of it or not just your perspective. And this is going to bring you great value in whatever you're working with or dealing with, whether it's got to do with your co-workers or associates or family or friends or a loved one. Right now is the time in which to stop and to hear what is really going on. Hear the beating of the drums that is echoing through your sphere because it speaks to you and there's something to be said about that. Now is the time to receive as well. Now is the time to take in and now is the time to allow yourself to be assisted if there is a need for that. Okay, so that is your message in uh, with this card uh, this week, if you've chosen the first deck. I'm wishing you very well in the week ahead and much love for me. So moving on to the next deck here, we have the Soulful Woman deck. And we're asking, what is it that we need to hear? What is it that we need to know at this moment? So this has fallen out and I'm actually going to go with it. So usually I don't always, I sometimes do, but I don't always go with cards that have just fallen out. It's fallen out in this order. So the cards we have here are shining bright. It's the number 18. And it says, I shine my light and allow my creative power to burn bright. Okay. And the card that accompanies it is the number 32. And it's the card of uniquely myself. So it reads, I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and soul path. All right, so the very strong energy I'm getting that is associated with this card here, uh, it feels like this is actually the first message and this is the second, so I'm, uh, I'm going to read it like that. What I'm getting here is that in order for you to truly succeed or be the best that you can be in whichever path you've chosen, which in with, with whatever you have chosen, including relationships with people, the thing that's most important is to stop and recognize who you truly are. Stop and recognize who you would be without the social media, without what is awaited from you from society, with what is what is expected uh, from you, uh, from society, that is, of you from society. <laughs> Pardon my grammar. And um, 
But basically, it's all about being who you are uh, in every way that you can be. And the problem with this is that as we grow into adults, uh, as we go, yeah, as we go older, a lot of who you, you, you are, uniquely you, that unique part of you uh, can be stamped down, can be pushed to the back, it can be wiped away, it can be, it can be, it can be tarnished, okay? And you might have needed to fill certain roles or be a certain person in order to be accepted in society, in order to be approved of. And in order to do that, you lose a part of yourself. So the first message I'm getting here is whatever it is that you need right now, the answer to you lies in how you go about uh, coming back to your roots, coming back to who you really are, you know, would you who is that person that that who would you be without the car that you drive or the house that you live in or all those things that um that define you as a person who would you be without the job that you have the titles that you have go back into and look at who that person is and actually rediscover yourself and rediscover who you are and who you know what 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 you are, what is, who is that of you, which is unlike anyone and everyone else in this world. What is that of you, which is unique? Um, because that is actually connected to that part of you, which is divine. And it, the, the, the message here is, I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and soul path. So, once you've gotten that, once you've actually taken a moment to look at yourself and to rediscover that which is divine inside of you and that only belongs to you, then it's time to actually take that and shine bright with it. The only way you can shine bright and truly be is if you are uniquely yourself. You see, when you've discovered this gem that is inside of you, that which is special in you, then you can give that, you can gift that to the world. And this actually enables you to, to provide so much more to the world. Because right now, what the situation needs, the situation that you're dealing with needs, is that of you, which no one else has. And it is only that that you can bring to the situation. And in doing so, you shine bright. You're shining your light. And you are able to access certain gems, certain skills inside of you, which are actually going to power you and give you all that you need to be able to express yourself uniquely, as well as to be able to bring what it is that you need to bring to the situation. And without that, you may have some difficulties. Okay. So that is your message for this week. Uh, for those of you who've chosen the Soulful Woman deck, which was the second option. I'm moving on now to the Crystal Mandala uh, deck here. This is also by Alana Fairchild. We are asking, what is the message that we need to hear this week? What is it that we need to know? What is it that we need to do at this moment? It feels like it's this card here. Do we have the number 39, the goddess Sekhmet and the fire agate, passion of the lion heart, and this belongs to the group of crystal goddesses 888. All right, so with this deck here, I mean, with this card here, what I'm hearing, well, firstly, the fire agate would be a, a very good stone for you. At this time it would be of use to you also a stone such as carnelian may be of uh, value to you at this moment um i'm also feeling like pink colored agates would also be of uh, use to you um not a yeah pale pink a uh, pale pink agates would also be of value to you during this week so if you have any of these crystals around uh, and uh, you do work with crystals then perhaps you know take one and cleanse it and uh Place your intention on it for this week and see how you proceed with that, 
okay? You don't need to necessarily go out and buy this. The color vibration will also buffet you this week. So deep reds, um, oranges, this kind, these type of colors will actually be of value or not be of value, but just support what it is that you are engaging with during this week. Okay, so this card here is, is, is telling me, it's giving me a, a, a sense rather of strength and, and power. Strength, power and fire, but in a controlled form. So how is it that you actually are able to take all your strength that you've mustered up until now and channel it or bring it forth in a way into the world in which uh, you're not going to be burning up everything. You're not going to be running roughshod over things. You're not going to be aggressive in the way in which you do it, but it's going to be channeled in a beautiful way and in harmony with all else around you. And so I'm hearing that, that this power exists inside of you and if you're not in touch with that if you're not at this vibration where you're feeling a rising you've been feeling in the last few weeks a rising of energy uh inside of you and it's actually just moving forth and and just like a you know like a rising like a kundalini rising type of energy just coming to the fore and needing to be expressed or needing to simply be right it doesn't always have to be expressed sometimes it can simply just be and the way in which you go about your day and the way in which you flow through your life, it is, um, it's like, you know, sparkling and uh, dropping bits of magic around you because of the strength and because of this absolute love that you have for yourself. Because this strength and this fire is talking about that absolute love that you have for yourself, but also that you love yourself enough to protect yourself and that you will go the lens that you need to, to be able to achieve what you need to, to be able to um, come to the the conclusion that you desire or to be able to fight for whatever it is that you've set your heart on, okay? So this is actually telling me that, um, that this, would be of, it, this would be of great use for you right now in order for you to be able to access your power. If you're not feeling this power, right, you need to be able to access it. And the way in which you do that is to concentrate yourself um, around a fire energy. You know, you might want to light a fire or light a candle and just uh, focus on the flame and try to work with that energy and draw from that energy and ask that your own fire be ignited. The other thing here is that um, this is a, a strength that is not, um, it's not a wild strength. You know, as I mentioned already, sorry for shaking the camera. Uh, as I mentioned already, it's it's a very controlled strength and it's very, um, it's supported, you know, you have the support from the divine and you also have your history. So this is like your history here and that which comes from behind you and this is the divine support that you have that's also behind you but also, but more in, in your future, you know, it's like walking behind you or standing behind you as you progress through your future. It's not entirely behind you but it's like you know, it's watching you. And so you have this kind of a support that you don't even realize that you have, that you're not even, that you're discounting, you know, you're not even thinking, oh, I have that support. I have this knowledge. I have these skills. I have all of this. I've had these experiences before and I know what to do in this circumstance. And I have the divine help and power behind me. Um, so it's, it's about acknowledging that a little bit as well, but also really cultivating that fire that is inside of you and bringing it to bear, bringing to bear in the situation that you're dealing with and in the life that you are living right now, in the situation, in whatever it is um, that you need to, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whether it's with relationships or with work or with, you know, your self-development or just your inner strength, it's what you need to do is activate that fire energy inside of you. Okay, now this can also be done uh, by eating foods um, that have that fire energy as well, like uh, fiery foods, um, for example, like chili or um, peppers um, and uh, that, uh, yeah, things that have, uh, you know, like even, even onions can actually have a, um, a fiery essence to it. And not always, but often it can. Sometimes it can also have a sweet essence to it. So, you know, um, the colors of red and deep reds, wine colored, um, oranges, uh, rich yellow, as well as uh, fiery type of foods, 
and um, and just you know working with the flame or working with fire is actually what's going to help you to get through this and to to support you in what you need right now and you need to be able to bring and draw out that strength from you and uh, hold it because it's like a shining light for others around you and I know that sounds a little bit like the message I had before but um, it just feels like this is such a contained energy you know this is a very contained energy it's very much in harmony but it's also giving outward it's also offering and but it's a very contained energy. It's it's very much focused on oneself and one's own passion and one's own strength. So, um, yeah, whatever you need strength for, whatever it is that you need to do right now, and the way in which to go about it is to cultivate it. And so that's my message for you, for those of you who've come to the deck three uh, during this week. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank all of you for subscribing and all of you for coming by on a weekly basis and for your support. And uh, I wish you a fabulous week ahead and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.